Transitioning to a tabletop position. Hands to the floor. Spread your fingers. Your knees are under your hips. And stepping the right foot outside of the right arm here. So we're finding a stretch on the left psoas, on the left hip flexor. Maybe you're going to walk with your hands a little bit forward or just walking with the knee a little bit back. Just try and see. Feel free to place a pillow on your back knee. If you feel like the surface is too hard, make yourself comfortable. Also, if maybe this is already uh, quite a challenge for you, feel free to have your blocks with you. So maybe placing them on the lowest or middle or highest height to give yourself some space to sink the buttocks down, allowing gravity to work on your hips and stretch. With your back toes, they can be untucked or they can also be tucked. I would say maybe untuck the toes to bring a little bit more relaxation to this part of the body too. Small adjustments to find comfort. Shoulders away from the ears, long back of the neck, chin slightly towards the chest and back. Feeling all three corners of the right foot pressing down, but you're opening that right knee slightly to the right side, intensifying the stretch on your inner thighs a little bit more. Maybe check on the next exhalation if it, there is a possibility to come a little bit closer to the floor. Maybe some of you are going to even bring the forearms all the way down. Still working with that right knee out, but keeping the entire sole of the right foot touching the floor. Observe what's happening on the left hip. Trying to make the posture as effortless as possible. On your next inhalation, Bring your hands to the floor, if they're not already there. And slowly bringing your buttocks back and bringing the right leg back into a tabletop position. Buttocks to your heels and come to Balasana Child's Pose just for a few breaths. Forehead to the ground. You can have your arms extended or you can have the arms alongside the body. Hands under the shoulders, press yourself back to a seated position. Back to tabletop. Hands under the wrists and step with the left foot on the outer edge, close to the outer edge of the left hand, adjusting on the other side. Find the position for your hands, 
Maybe your torso is moving forward a little bit, so you need to bring the hands a little bit more to the front. Super important to have this alignment of the joints. This makes the posture a little bit less about muscles and more about alignment of the structure of your body. Three corners of the left foot pressing down, opening the left knee to the side. Sinking the buttocks down with each exhalation, feeling the stretch on your right hip flexor. And make it as intense as you can feel joy and pleasure to, to be opening the body. Don't make it a suffering, but more as a as an enjoyment of being of taking care of your physical body. Go ahead and deepen into the posture a little bit more, if this is possible. Remembering the both actions here. Hips down, left knee to the side. Shoulders away from the ears, long back of the neck. We start with a little bit more intense hip openings that can be challenging for the body and also for the mind as we are unlocking, we can be unlocking lots of emotions. So pay attention to whatever arises. Trying to find softness and comfort wherever you are in any situation. Next inhalation, both hands on the floor, moving your buttocks slightly back, stepping back with your knees together or slightly apart. Buttocks towards the heels, Balasana, child's pose. Mm -hmm. 